Good morning, friends. Today we are going to do something very different. Um, it's more of an art and an activity because at the end you'll get to um, play with it or challenge others to meet um, to use it. It's called a marble maze, and you don't have to have specifically a marble, but um, that is something we're going to use. I'm going to go over all of the supplies. First thing you need is a box. It can be any box, any size, um, maybe one that you can hold in your hands. Um, you're going to cut the flaps off so you can use it. A shallow one is good. Um, you need paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls, and we're going to talk about decorating those. Some sort of tape, doesn't matter what kind, something round that rolls through it. I have marbles, but you could also use a bouncy ball, or I have one of these. This is like one of those puff balls. You need scissors. Make sure you ask if you need help. You can use tape. You can also use markers, crayons, color pencils. Um, whatever you want to use to decorate it is um, up to you. Uh, I also will be using hot, a hot glue gun so I can show you um, faster, but I'm going to show you both ways with a hot glue gun and with tape. So you don't need tape. I also have um, a hole puncher and you can use anything you want to make little holes in your tubes if you want to. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is cut the flaps off of your box. Now I saved the flaps because you're gonna use some of those in a little bit. So um, I have the box without the flaps and now what you're gonna do is color everything. So you want to make it as bright as possible to make it as fun as possible. So you, like I said, you can use markers, you can use uh, paints if you're allowed, whatever you want. So I would decorate the box first and then your tubes. So then what you're going to do after everything's beautifully decorated, you're going to um, use the tubes to make tunnels for your ball or marble to pass through so you can try to get it through the tubes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, I'm going to say my start is in this corner. So I'm going to glue or tape one of the tubes here. So I'm going to show you guys first, I put the glue on the tube and then stick it down. Now the next one I'm going to show you how to use tape. Okay, so it's stuck there. Then my next tube, I want it to I want the ball to turn this way. So I'm going to cut a shorter tube. Make sure you ask if you need help. It squishes a little bit, but it'll come back. Okay. Now I'm going to tape this tube here, it's a little hard to see, tape it here, and I'm just going to use regular scotch tape because you can use either. I'm going to take two small pieces, I'm going to tape it, one on here, one on this side, so I have two pieces of tape, and then I'm going to tape it down. All right, so now I have two tubes. Now I want to make sure that my ball doesn't roll that way. So I'm going to take the scrap from the sides I cut off and I'm going to make a wall right here next to that tube I have. And I'm going to use some glue, but again, you can use tape. Put some glue on the side here. And then on the bottom. And 
hold it. All right. So now I have two tubes and a wall. Now I want to make another wall, but a short wall. So I'm going to take one of my scrap pieces, a shorter piece, and I'm going to glue it right here. So it takes a turn. A little bit of glue on the side and a little bit of glue on the bottom. This might be a good one to tape. And hold it until it dries. Now, hot glue um, dries faster than regular glue. So if you only have regular glue and not hot glue, I would suggest using tape. You can use painter's tape, which I have, or regular scotch tape. All right, so now I have two walls and two tubes. Now I want to make it turn this way, and then I'll leave a... Hmm. I can't decide. Let's see what will fit here. All right, so I measure a piece. I want it to go from there to there, maybe a tube. Oh yeah, there we go. A tube on an angle will be good. No, I need another wall. So I'm gonna cut a wall. And now I'm gonna use tape because Glue took too long to dry. So I'm going to use two pieces of tape. One for the wall and one for the side. All right. That way. So let's, I'm going to try it. So this is what mine looks like so far. I'm going to try it. So I put it in this spot. And I tilt it this way. Ooh, it's working so far. I'm excited. All right, so I'm going to put a wall there. All right, so you keep building yours or start. Put this on pause, and we'll come back and see how it looks. And I'll finish mine. And I'll take a picture and put it on the page also. Good luck and have fun.